Hey everybody, Tails here, uh, continuing the uh, other video that I made with Matthew Oneaway, where I did a little haul video uh, in his, in his, on his channel, and I also made one on my channel. We both filmed at the same time, so that's why I was like moving some of the games back and forth. But um, yeah, just a little bit of a recap. Um, I did get um, both of the Hatsune Miku PS Vita games, and they both work, which is amazing. And yeah, I just, um, I just saw like in the back. Um, like, they'll usually, like, have some, like, games or CDs or just stuff that, like, they're about to put out. And then I just saw, like, like this blue little stack right here, and I was like, are those Vita games? And they were. And I thought they were both the same game, but they're two different Hatsune Miku games, and they're the only two Hatsune Miku games on the Vita, which is which is pretty cool. So, yeah. And those are just a couple of the games I got. I also got an Animal Crossing book, but, like, those are just the two things that I got a Bull Moose. Um, and, uh... I also got um, a few other things, and I just haven't shown them yet. I did get this Accor Gaming, this little PS Vita um, carrying case for the games, which is nice, because um, I, I I don't usually get carrying cases for games, but I mean, for I mean, since it's an official PlayStation, like as you can see with the little Sony logo, or the or the PlayStation logo, I should say. But yeah, nice little PS Vita case. Um, I also on um, this. I'm going to be selling this on my Etsy. It is The Secret for DVD. This is a 2006 movie. It's a documentary film based off on, um, like, a few, like, famous artists, I believe. And, uh, I think you can, like, watch it online, but, like, there are very few DVD copies of this movie out there. And one of these last sold for $25 on eBay, so I'm going to be selling this for 20 with 5 shipment on my Etsy, so that's pretty cool. And that was at the church thrift store. And I also got, um, this Batman puzzle at the church thrift store, and I'm going to be hang it with all my uh, other Batman stuff on the wall. Next up, um, I, um, I'm actually going to return this because uh, this game like just got on sale like fairly recently, but yeah, I got Legend of Trials Cold Steel 3. Um, I've wanted to, I've been eyeing on this game for a while, I wanted to pick this up. Um, it has the, uh, it has the game, it has the soundtrack, it actually has a receipt in there, I shouldn't show that, but yeah, it has like all the original, uh, like promos it came with has the music soundtrack and everything um nothing's wrong with it um i just uh, like <laughs> got this um one day at a GameStop because i still had a five dollar rewards to use so i thought i'd use it on this and then uh like uh just recently i saw on uh, someone's instagram that this game was now like two dollars two ninety nine on the GameStop site so i'm gonna return this try to get uh sell my cash back at least exchange exchange this and try to get the two dollars for it if not then i might just buy it online and then just like exchange that i don't know but yeah um i'll be keeping this in the collection um and yeah i, I can't believe that like i paid 25 dollars for this game and then it's now like 299 on the website so uh anyway um here's um i got the uh danganronpa um manga book that i was actually looking for i did get some of the danganronpa manga books but um i meant to get uh, the uh, first edition for Danganronpa. Um, I got the se the second one, Goodbye Despair, and uh, yeah, I got the first edition, which is nice from Bull Moose, and that was a uh, that was a hold item for me. Uh, I got another uh, Vita game to show, and that is uh, Lego Harry Potter years five through seven. It's just the cartridge. I don't like to pick up cartridge only games, but I mean, I don't mind getting like empty piece Vita cases because um, I could use them if I ever find like loose copies of uh, certain games. It's of course in a crappy GameStop case. It has a printout artwork. This is from Core Gaming. I mean, I do like the little printout artwork, artwork that they added. I mean, that's nice. I mean, it may be like fade a little bit, but I mean, it's at least not they're they're at least not like making it look official and everything. So, there you go. Um, I got uh, Spyro: Ripto's Rage for the PS One. I didn't really need to pick it up, but I found this at Cor at a uh, Bull Moose and. Uh, I just thought, um, you know, like, why not? I just I just can't say no to uh, Spyro. I just love the games. They're they're very fun. If you never played them, I highly recommend them. Next up is Final Fantasy IV for the DS. Um, I kind of forgot that there was a Final Fantasy game on DS, at least Final Fantasy IV. And, uh, yeah, I just... It was $30, which I, I just found it, picked it up, and, uh, and then I, like, just got it. I didn't even look it up, but... Um, it was worth it, so yeah, and it's the uh, the graphics are actually pretty impressive for this game, Final Fantasy IV. I mean, it is a remaster, but yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good game. Uh, I, I like to play more of that sometime. 
And uh, next up, I have Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. This was another game I had on hold at Bull Moose. Um, it doesn't come with a manual. I thought it like it's supposed to have a manual, but um, this is just how how um, they uh, like release the Tales of Symphonia. It's uh, basically just uh, like the first Symphonia on Dawn of the New World. And uh, yeah, I wanted to get the GameCube version of this, but couldn't find it. And then I kind of forgot that there was a PS3 Master for this game, so I mean, might as well pick that up. Next up is um, Thor God of Thunder. This came out around the 2011 movie, which, to be honest, I think the 2011 movie, I felt like, I mean, it's not bad, but I mean, like, I think Thor Ragnarok is way better. Same with same with Thor Love and Thunder. I mean, I didn't really enjoy it as much as I thought I would, but, um, yeah, I just like Ragnarok out of the uh, Thor movies, but there's the Thor God of Thunder video game. Um, it's actually kind of way better than the Iron Man 2 game that I got recently for PS3. And uh, next up is a pretty... Uh, pretty underrated hidden gem for the PS3, and that is Remember Me. Um, it's kind of like a, a Mirror's Edge type game by Capcom. I don't I don't know too, too, too much about this game, but I just know it's like super underrated, and uh, it was only eight bucks, so I thought, you know, why not? Next up is, um, I've been eyeing on this game ever since I started shopping at uh, Bull Moose, and uh, it is Marvel Super Hero Squad Comic Combat. I have the U-Draw gamepad on my found it at a savers it was like in the box and everything which was nice and uh this is one of the few games there were only four like you draw games uh for the ps3 and uh i might try to get all four of them i i mean this is another one of the games there was also like a pictionary game and uh some some art game on it as well but you know there's not not too many like you draw games there's a bunch of you draw games on the wii but i don't i don't usually grab wii games as much and uh next up is the only GameCube game I got, and that is Beautiful Joe, which is nice, because I have been wanting to play this game. I've never played any of the Beautiful Joe games, and, uh, yeah, it's a complete and everything. It was 27 at Bull Moose, and it's around, like, a $40, $50 game, which is nice. So, yeah, I've wanted to play Beautiful Joe for a while, and, uh, yeah, I can finally play it now. Um, I did get this for the PSP recently, but I found it for the PS2, Crash Tag Team Racing. It's... Um, basically just a crash racing game that nobody asked for and everything. It's not a good crash crash game, but I mean, I thought, you know, why not pick it up? It was only $10, which was reasonable. So, yeah. And then I got some sealed PS2 games, and I might sell some. I might, like, keep a few for myself, but I found uh, Operation Spy um, sealed for the... Uh, this is, like, part of one of the iToy games. It is sealed. I mean, it, the seal is kind of lifting a little bit, but um, I'll, I'll still sell this. Um, I got it for like three dollars. It's it goes for around like eight online. Uh, this I, I'm definitely probably not going to keep this, but Hard Rock Hard Rock Casino. I was going to call it Hard Rock Cafe, but you know, um, yeah, Hard Rock Casino uh, for PS2. Um, it doesn't go for much, but I'll still try to sell it on my Etsy. And uh, I, I was thinking of exchanging this game, but I might sell it or uh, just bring it back um but puzzle challenge crosswords uh, i just left the price on it uh or the sticker on it just if i want to return it i i might just like hold on to it for a bit before i actually return it and uh that's pretty much it and uh here's a few other uh random bits and bobs i found a roxanne wolf plush which is nice that'll go well with my uh other uh finance freddy's plushies um i've wanted her s since the very start and uh they sold out really quickly at GameStop, and uh, now they're finally back in stock, which is nice. So, uh, yeah, there you go. And uh, here is an Invader Zen lanyard. Um, I just wanted to have it. It was at Spencer's. I just couldn't say no to it. So, uh, yeah, just an Invader Zen lanyard, which is nice. And then finally, probably, I've wanted this ever since I was 10 years old. Um, I've already shown it on Matthew's video, but this Lego Wii Remote, I've always wanted one of these ever since I first saw one. I think the first time I saw one of these was at a, on an old Toys R Us catalog. It was $25, which I felt like was a reasonable enough price, and it does work and everything. I don't usually play a ton of Wii games as much as I used to, but I mean, it's really cool to have one of these, and really nice to have, and luckily it works, and you can even like put Lego bricks on it and everything. I, tr I was wondering if the Lego, um, this part of the Lego uh, Wii Remote, this little Lego tile was part of the Wii Remote. Like, I wasn't sure if you could take it out, but apparently I tried using a brick separator and pretty much, um, it's pretty much damaged my brick separator, which, oh well, I have, I have a ton of those things, so I'm not too mad about that. But yeah, cool to have one of those.
And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.